Hi, Rick here with Manuela, my student. We have just played uh, the suit and tie by Justin Timberlake in the last video, and we're back to give you continuation of how you can make it a little bit more musical, sound cooler, and uh, we're going to show Manuela a few of those techniques. So, if you remember, uh, we started the phrase at the chorus, and it sounds like this. Uh, so I, rather than going, I, I, I put a little bend in there. I go. So let's work on that. That's good. And then. That's better. Yep. So they're getting that length of those notes. See, because we go. Right? If you got nothing, so I. Got to clip that note with your tongue. Very good, okay. And then we go. So we have to make those notes longer because they, otherwise they sound kind of corny there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so like, so we really have to get our tongue light on that reed, right? Mm. That was our fast tonguing exercise, help you with that. Mm -hmm, that's better. And we have to, we have to contrast <laughs> those short, long ones. So we have to go back to that, so. There you go. Now it's starting to sound right, right? Uh, and now we go to... Um, So when we go up to that C sharp from the A sharp, we want to bend that note up too. So you hear that? It's almost like two different notes there. Like it's like me going like it's like I'm playing C to the C sharp, but I'm doing it with my lip. So let's practice. It's getting better, okay? So that's you keep practicing that and, and she'll really get it down. And then we go on to uh, uh, the next the next phrase is pretty much the same. So when we get up to that F sharp we want to go. Notice you get them a little longer. No bend on this one? Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing a little bend there, right? Mm -hmm. You put a little vibrato on the end of that note, like you were listening to me. Yeah. That's right. 
Yeah, so you go. <laughs> And so that needs to be practiced too. I call that like a bell tone. If you think of a bell, if you have a huge bell and you hammer it, it goes down, wah, 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 wah. Mm. You know, it's, it's loudest at the beginning and you get that reverberation of it and it gets softer as it goes. So if you practice it, imagining you're playing, uh, you know, like hitting this bell and you go, you'll really start to get control of what you know we're trying to do there so like it's interesting because your mouth moves kind of like a wave first it goes it goes out and then it kind of retracts and goes yeah <laughs> yeah it's interesting yeah i have to check that out i've never, I've never seen that before but um that's a great way to practice uh, your vibrato. Uh, you need that kind of a vibrato in, in many situations, many styles. Let's go on for the last part, which is... practice and that'll become easy you know I don't even think about it you know I'm, it's such a second nature thing I'm just thinking how I want the sound to happen and my lips do it so you have to train your lips to do that right and, and your jaw and right? <laughs> As I make that bend as well, so it's like do a, do a. There's a little, little crescendo as I do it, gives it the, the effect that you want. Mm. You know what I'm yeah. All right, then the last part of this is. So. Let's get a little more bend on that note. close right but and then the la very last two notes he play he plays is Let's see if we can get a little bend up to it yeah that's the horn that rip that was better so we want to get more length on the long notes and shortness and a little more of an accent so like yeah one of the best exercises you can practice is just a long short exercise like that Yes, and then you put that together. That's it. Very good. So, 
those are kinds of exercises and things that you can do to uh, strengthen your playing, add those little nuances in the sound that make it sound really, you know, hip and cool. And um, you got to practice them every day until they just become, you know, second nature, part of your memory. And um, I think that's it. That's it. All right. We hope to see you again very soon. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to tell you about a brand new video I just recorded that I think you'll really like. It's called Two Secrets That Every Saxophone Player Should Know. And it's free. Just click the link below to get it. See you there.